the Jack Eichel sweepstakes are finally over. He has finally been traded, and he is now a member of the Vegas Golden Knights. The Golden Knights acquire Jack Eichel for Peyton Krebs, Alex Tuck, a first round and second rounder, as they as Buffalo gives up Jack Eichel and a third rounder. Honestly, I thought Buffalo could have got a bigger return for Jack Eichel, but Jack Eichel in Vegas is going to be insane. In this video, we're going to be simulating Jack Eichel's career with the Vegas Golden Knights, and we'll see how he does playing with Mark Stone, Max Pacioretty, and we'll see uh, how the career turns out, if he can get any Stanley Cups, any Hart trophies. So let's get right into it. And for Jack Eichel's career simulation, I'm not going to be managing the Vegas Golden Knights. The computer will. I'll be managing the Ottawa Senators. So anything that happens in this career will be all done by the computer. So no actions for me for, for any of his career. But the first line, Max Pacioretty, Jack Eichel, and Mark Stone. So if we just take a quick look at Jack Eichel. His potential is actually a low elite, which is kind of surprising. I thought it would definitely be like a, a franchise or something along those lines. But 6'2", 213, 214 pounds, superstar X Factor, his stats, five-star puck skills, five-star stances, five-star shooting five-star skating four-star defense four-star physical but he's a total stud 93 passing offensive awareness 94 shooting all in the 90s he, he's an incredible player and i'm really looking forward to see how he plays for vegas if they can win a cup or see if he can collect any hardware himself the second line marsh and so uh, matthias yanmark and evgeny dadanoff Third line, Chandler Stevenson, William Carlson. William Carlson on the third line is insane. Nolan Patrick, who's 23, low elite. I mean, he's got potential. Former first round pick. And then fourth line, Barchi, Nicholas Waugh, and Riley Smith. This team is deep. And just quickly check the contract. So Eichel's going to be on the team for at least five years. So five years at 9.125 mil. And then we'll see uh, if, if he ends up staying with the Knights or if he goes somewhere else. Defensively, Shea Theodore, Petriangelo, Martinez, White Cloud, McNabb, and uh, Ben Hudden. And then in Nets, Knights have Robin Lehner. Let's simulate year one and see how the Vegas Golden Knights do. After year number one, Jack Eichel leads the team in scoring as he puts up 80 points in 82 games, good for 37 goals, 43 helpers, plus 13, 19 power play points. And he good takeaway to uh to give away ratio. So good year from him. Let's see if the team if the Vegas Golden Knights were able to make the playoffs. The Golden Knights do make the playoffs as they sweep the Vancouver Canucks in round number one. Round two, they take on the Kraken, take them down in six, and then they lose in round three versus the Colorado Avalanche, who eventually go on to win the Stanley Cup. In year number two, Jack Eichel has grown to a 92 overall as he's still playing with Mark Stone and Max Pacioretty on the first line. Same lineup basically as last year, but still got that first line minutes. Let's see if he can do better than last year. As last year, he had 80 points in 82 games. Let's see how year number two goes for Vegas Golden Knights and Jack Eichel. As the year comes to an end, Jack Eichel once again leads the team in scoring as he puts up 30 goals 45 assists, good for 75 points in 82 games, just shy of the point per game mark, plus one, 45 penalty minutes. Another good year from Jack Eichel, but let's see if they're able to make a run into the playoffs this year. Once again, the Vegas Golden Knights do make the playoffs, but this year they match up against the Vancouver Canucks again in the first round, but this time, instead of sweeping the Canucks, the Golden Knights get swept by the Canucks. In year three, Claude Giroux has joined the Vegas Golden Knights as he is Jack Eichel's newest line mate. As the first line is going to be Claude Giroux, Jack Eichel, and Mark Stone. I'm expecting a big year from these boys. I'm going to say Eichel 97 points this year. Just remember that number, 97 points, Jack Eichel. He's now 26 years old. Let's see how year three goes for Jack Eichel. Year number three, Jack Eichel sees some injury problems as he only plays 69 games, putting up 60 points. Uh, the team, there's a lot of minuses here. I wonder if they were able to make the playoffs this year. Let's go take a look. The Vegas Golden Knights do not make the playoffs this year as it looks like the injuries may have killed them this year. But wow, first year Jack Eichel misses the playoffs with the Vegas Golden Knights. 
and it took three years. I wonder how year four will go. I was completely wrong with my 97 point prediction though. <laughs> and the Vegas Golden Knights actually get the first overall pick in this year's draft lottery. Another year, another new line made for Jack Eichel as they get Ben Betting, who is 18 years old, superstar X Factor. This must have been the first overall pick. Let's see. Franchise potential. This is Jack Eichel's line mate for life right here. So Jack Eichel, Banting, and Mark Stone all on the first line here. I mean, this guy can be a monster, and he's a sniper. Eichel's a playmaker. I mean, it's just a match made in heaven. Let's see how year number four goes for the Vegas Golden Knights and Jack Eichel with the new superstar, Ben Banting. With year number four in the books, Jack Eichel finishes atop of the Vegas Golden Knights once again with 85 points, which is a career year for the Vegas Golden Knights as he puts up 33 goals, 52 helpers, plus seven, was a beast this year. I think that's maybe his best year in the NHL to date, and it is. This is Jack Eichel's best year. So, so far with Vegas, 80 points, 75 points, 60 points, and 85 points. Let's see if that was good enough to lead them back to the playoffs. And the Vegas Golden Knights do make it back to the playoffs as they sweep Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers, but they fall in seven games to the Anaheim Ducks, who eventually fall to Dallas, who eventually go on to win the Stanley Cup. Not bad for Eichel's fourth year, you know, and back in the playoffs. Year number five with Jack Eichel and the Golden Knights, and I believe this is his contract year. Let's double check here. It's, yep, 9.125 mil, one year left. So this potentially can be the last year Jack Eichel is on the Golden Knights. But he's got Banting on his left wing, 19 years old. 89 overall, medium franchise potential. He's going to be a beast. Mark Stone, who's slowly regressing, 33 years old now. But he is up to a 93 overall, so did jump up two overall points. Let's see how this year goes for Jack Eichel. In Jack Eichel's potential last year with the Vegas Golden Knights, he puts up a monster year as he puts up 104 points, which was good for 46 goals, 58 helpers, plus 33 what a year from Jack Eichel. 107 takeaways, 54 giveaways, 2 to 1 ratio there. Huge year for, from Eichel there. 93 overall still. And yeah, this was his last year in, in Buffalo. What do, has he done? 104 points, 85 points, 60 points, and 75 points. And then finally, 80 points. So he's been, he's been tremendous, tremendous for uh, the Golden Knights here, but... Let's see if it was good enough for him to make the playoffs. I think it was, but we'll take a look. The Knights do make the playoffs, but their arch rivals, the Vancouver Canucks, eliminate them in five games, ending their uh, their chance at a Stanley Cup here. Jack Eichel also collects some hardware this year as he picks up the Hart Trophy as well as the Ted Lindsay Award. So big year for Jack Eichel in his contract year. And the Vegas Golden Knights are able to get a deal done with Jack Eichel. As in year number six, he's still on the squad. And he's playing with Banting and Stone still. Banting's a 94 overall now. Stone's a 90 overall. He's a 93. Let's see what deal he got. Six years at $12 million. There's no way they can afford afford banting this year when they gotta pay him so we'll see how that works out this might be the last year you see eichel banting and stone is a lion let's see if they can capitalize on this or if they're gonna fall short again on eichel's first year with his new deal he puts up 105 points this year good for 70 assists which i believe is a career high for him and 35 goals plus 41 that first line was just unreal and I believe he beats his point total by one point from last year. And he does. He puts up one more point than last year. I mean, what a year. But the big story will be, can the Knights sign his franchise line mate, Ben Banting? Let's see if they were able to make the playoffs here, though. The Knights were able to make the playoffs, but they can't get past that round two as the Edmonton Oilers take them down again. And the Vegas, they always make the playoffs, struggle at round one, struggle at round two, but they just got to make to that hump. Let's see what they what they do in the offseason to better this team. 
and the Vegas Golden Knights actually win the President's Trophy this year, so they must have had a great year, but they still fall in round number one. Let's see, does Jack Eichel win any awards? They got Francois, the Vesna, Zub won the Masterton. I love that. But no awards for Jack Eichel, just the President's Trophy. It looks like Vegas has found a way to re-sign both Benning and Eichel. So it looks like they're together for life here. Uh, Benning, how, what kind of deal did he get? A little bit less than Eichel, I believe. No, he got 800k more than Eichel. Seven years, 12.8 mil. Crazy, 94 overall. Highest overall on the team. But Jack Eichel, 30 years old now. He's getting to that time where it's now or never. He's got he's got a couple more years to win the cup here as as being one of the best players on the team. 93 overall mark stone still on his right wing so first line stays together let's see what the vegas golden knights can do eichel finishes year number seven with another great campaign as he puts up 100 plus points for the third straight years as this year he he misses four games but no big deal 48 goals 53 apples 101 points plus 31 which is always great to see he's second in team scoring for for the first time in his career he's not leading the Vegas Golden Knights, but 101 points, still a fantastic year from Jack Eichel. Let's check out if they made the playoffs and if they did, if they finally made it past that second round. The Golden Knights do make the playoffs and they were so close to getting past the second round, but they fall in game seven to the Edmonton Oilers. Tough break, tough break. It looks like Jack Eichel has a new right winger for the first time since his time on the Golden Knights, as it looks like Mark Stone has retired. He still has Banting on that left wing, but now he's got a new right winger in Gurlou, I believe is how you pronounce the name. I'm going to butcher that, so I'm just going to call him Benoit Oliver. <laughs> Let's see how he does in year number eight as a 31-year-old. At 32 years old, Jack Eichel puts up his best year in the NHL as he has 118 points in 82 games, scoring 46 goals, picking up 72 apples, a plus 39. What a year from Jack Eichel as he leads the Vegas Golden Knights definitely to the playoffs. Let's see how far they make it. And the Vegas Golden Knights, they finally get over that hump of the second round as they go on to eventually win the Stanley Cup and take down the Washington Capitals in seven games as they go through San Jose in round one, the Canucks, their rivals in round two, clean up in round three versus the Chicago Blackhawks and have a hard-fought series in round number four, the Stanley Cup Finals, as they take down the Capitals in seven games. Mark Stone, you know, this one was for you, but Jack Eichel is officially a Stanley Cup champion it looks like eichel may have regressed just a little bit this offseason as he's down to a 90 overall which is still i mean tremendous he's got three years left on his deal here he's still playing with ben banting but he has a new right winger i'm not even gonna try saying it pod pod Coles, pod colson pod colson uh, so that's his new right winger so we'll see if jack eichel can defend the stanley cup here and go back to back as year nine wraps up, Jack Eichel puts together his fifth straight 100-point campaign as he puts up 107 points, 71 apples, 36 goals, 80 games, I mean, plus 50, a little bit overshadowed by uh, Ben Banting, who put up 127 points, plus 66, but a great year from Jack Eichel, who's now a 33-year-old. 89 overall let's take a look at his stats real quick just a little bit of an update so 80 points 75 points 60 points 85 104 105 101 118 107 he now has 1190 points he's above a point per game plus 146 and he has one stanley cup to his name let's see if he adds a second one this year and the golden knights sweep the Seattle Kraken, but their arch nemesis, the second round, they cannot get out of it as they get taken care of by Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers as the, they go on to lose to the Chicago Blackhawks, who are the eventual Stanley Cup champions. 
another year and another new line mate for Jack Eichel and Ben Banting as they now have Tiny Scratchhard. Or Tiny Scratchhard. Interesting name, but Eichel is now down to an 89 overall, 33. He'll be turning 34 this year. But as we saw last year, he's still an incredible player. Let's see what Jack Eichel can do in his 10th season with the Vegas Golden Knights. Two years left on his contract. Let's see what happens here. Even with a 78 overall on the first line, it doesn't matter because Jack Eichel's a stud as he puts up another 100-point season, his sixth straight 100-plus point season. This year, 113 points, 75 assists. He's really become that assist man on this on this team plus 26 not as good as last year but definitely looks like it's good enough to make the playoffs let's go check out how he did in the playoffs and the golden knights make it all the way to the stanley cup finals but they fall to the ottawa senators who's actually my team so apparently they did pretty good i wasn't really monitoring but the the golden knights to make it to the finals they finally get past that second line as they are the second round as they sweep the edmonton oilers but they can't get past the centers as they lose in six games. And for the second time in Jack Eichel's career, he does win the President's Trophy again. Individual awards, I don't think he got anything, but quick check here. Nothing individually, but he does get another President's Trophy winning championship. Year 11, Jack Eichel still manning that first line on the Vegas Golden Knights. Left wing, still got Ben Banting and Tiny Scatchhard, who's now an 82 overall. But I just noticed Cody Glass on the team at an 89 overall. Fourth liner, 76 points. He's been pretty good. And one thing I want to check is just how good Jack Eichel has been in the playoffs. We've only been checking his regular season stats. So let's go take a look at his playoff stats. Last year, 28 points in the Stanley Cup loss. 19 points in nine games. That's incredible. 23 points, 18 points. I mean, 139 points in 111 playoff games for the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Plus 31. He's been very good in the in the playoffs, just as well as the regular season. Let's see in year 11, his with his overall going down, he's now a top six potential. 34 years old, turning 35 this year. Let's see if he still got it. And let's simulate another year for Jack Eichel and the Vegas Golden Knights. Another year in the books and Jack Eichel does what Jack Eichel does. Another 100 point campaign as he scores 49 goals this year. Puts up 65 apples, 114 points, plus 47. Just another incredible year for him. Let's check his his contract this year. This was his contract year, so... He might not be back with Vegas next year. They should have made the playoffs. So we'll see if they get another Stanley Cup. And this may have been his last game ever for the Vegas Golden Knights. With him getting older, 35 years old now. Let's check his career points. 1,417 points. Just unreal. Let's see how they did in the playoffs. As expected, the Knights do make the playoffs as they get past the first round nice and easily. But the, the worst enemy of the Vegas Golden Knights, that second round, they, it gets them again as the Ducks take them out in five games. As this year, we get a new Stanley Cup champion, the Arizona Coyotes. Interesting. It looks like Jack Eichel was able to get another contract extension with the Vegas Golden Knights as he is now in year 12 with the Knights. Let's see what type of deal he got here. One year, $10.71 million. So this could be his last year, his last year in the NHL, last year with the Vegas Golden Knights. 88 overall. He's down to a media or to top nine exact potential. 88 overall. I mean, he, he's getting a little bit worse, but he's still a beast out here. 88 overall. I mean, you can't, like, he's a beast. No matter what his overall is, his potential, his age. He's a monster. Let's see what he can do this year as he's playing with Scatchard again and Ben ben Banting. In potentially his last year in the NHL, Jack Eichel once again, 100 plus points. This time, 75 assists, 38 goals, 113 points, plus 29. What's his career stats looking like now? We got... 1,530 points for Jack Eichel, 36, 88 overall still, 
uh, top nine exact potential. Let's check out how the Golden Knights did in the playoffs. The Golden Knights do make the playoffs, but once again, that second round, they cannot make it by as they lose to the Anaheim Ducks, who eventually go on to lose in the Stanley Cup Finals to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Geichel does enough to earn another contract for the Vegas Golden Knights. Unfortunately, he has been demoted to the second line. He'll no longer be playing with Ban Benting and Tiny Scatchard as Bryson Spiller gets first line duties. He's a top six, a 23 year older. But Jack Eichel still on that second line. He's got some new, new line mates here. He's got Tyrone Maher and Colin Rivers on his right side. 88 overall, top nine. What's his contract? He got signed to another one year deal at 36 years old. $9.8 million. Let's see what Jack Eichel can do manning that second line. Can he continue this 100 points per year? Let's take a look. <laughs> no matter the age, no matter what line Jack Eichel's on, all he's going to do is produce, produce, and produce. On the second line, it doesn't matter. Eichel puts up 124 points as this is his career best. 81 games. He had a better points per game average than Ben Banting. 41 goals, 83 assists, more than assists per game, plus 45, 10 penalty minutes. What a year from Jack Eichel. I mean, 37 years old, he's still doing these types of things. They definitely made the playoffs. That was last year of the deal. I wonder if he gets brought back here or if he goes out. If they win the cup, if he goes out on top. Let's see how they did in the playoffs. And they do make the playoffs, but this time it's not the second round that eliminates them. They fall to the Vancouver Canucks in round number one. Insane. Anaheim Ducks eventually go on to win another Stanley Cup in this franchise rebuild. Jack Eichel adds a little bit more hardware to his collection here as he picks up the Hart Trophy and the Lady Bing. Anything else for Jack Eichel? Love to see that at 37 years old, picking up the Hart Trophy and the Lady Bing and the Ted Lindsay. Let's go, Jack Eichel. The Knights just couldn't say no. You got to bring back Eichel, especially after the year he just had. Although they do lose Benning on the first line but we got jack eichel tyrone maher and scatch hard on the first line jack eichel's down to an 85 overall bottom six potential rolls now a second line forward this is looking like the beginning of the end what type of contract they signed him to a two-year 15 million dollar deal per year no wonder why they couldn't afford benning they're giving eichel 30 million dollars over the next two years that's insane. Let's see if Eichel can score another 150 points this year and lead Vegas to another championship and potentially one of his final years. Unfortunately, in year 14, it looks like Jack Eichel suffered a little bit of an injury as he only plays 53 out of the 82 games, missing 29 games on the year. But he still puts up 62 points, still above a point per game, plus 8. He was great in the games that he played. He's now an, he's still an 85 overall, bottom six still. That's a big contract for someone missing half the season, though. Let's see if uh, the Vegas Golden Knights were able to make the playoffs with Jack Eichel only playing half the year. The Knights were able to make the playoffs, but they fall in round one to the Vancouver Canucks, who have been a thorn in their in their side this whole this whole career simulation here. The Rangers win the cup here. Another great another great year for Jack Eichel, but was that his last? The $15 million man is back for year 15 with the Knights, and he's now on the fourth line as he is an 83 overall AHL top six player. Nothing better than paying an 83 overall top six AHL for it. $15.5 million, though. Let's see what what magic Jack Eichel has on this fourth line. He's playing with some youngins as he's playing with Lars Olin and Owen Nickel. We'll see how Jack Eichel can do on the fourth line in year number four. Fourth line, Jack Eichel. I mean, he still had a good year for being on the fourth line. The only problem is that minus eight, 
but 69 points in 78 games, a 30 goal scorer on the fourth line. I mean, I would take that. 40 assists, maybe not 30 goals for $15.5 million, but Scar Chart has been pretty good for the Vegas Golden Knights. But 69 points in 78 games in year number 15 for Jack Eichel, which surely was, was his last in the year. 80 overall now. Let's go take a look to see if they made the playoffs. It looks like they, they should have made the playoffs, but you never know. The Knights do make the playoffs, but once again, they fall in round number one versus the Chicago Blackhawks, who eventually go on and win the Stanley Cup for, I believe, the second or third time in this franchise rebuild. In year 16, Jack Eichel has found a new home at 39 years old. He is now the first line center of the Anaheim Ducks. What type of contract did he get signed to here? Two years, $6 million a year. A lot more respectable than uh, the $15 million one he just had. But he's now playing on the Anaheim Ducks with Tamalini on the first line left wing and Fabian Lysel on the right wing. He's got Trevor Zegris. I mean, this is a pretty good team. I'm surprised he's on the first line, but I mean, his points speak for him, for itself. He has 1,785 points in 1,500 games, plus 293 in the playoffs. How are we looking? 190 points in 146 games, plus 40. The last couple of years have not been nice to him as they've been eliminating the first round three straight years, but... I mean, Jack Eichel, he's the man, 39 years old. He's going to be turning 40 this year. Let's see what he can do on a brand new team. Jack Eichel, once again, his injury rating must suck. Only plays 59 games, misses almost 25 games, 25 to 30 games again. 44 points in 59 games. Still not terrible for a 40-year-old 40, a 40 first liner, I guess, on this squad. What is this overall now? He's down to a 78 overall. Let's check out the stats here. 1,829 points plus 287. Last couple of years have not been too friendly, but first year on the Ducks. Let's see if they do make the playoffs. The Anaheim Ducks do not make the playoffs this year, but the Golden Knights do, and the Golden Knights go all the way to the finals as they fall to the New York Rangers. I mean, if Jack Eichel is there, do you think they win that cup? I mean... He's never disappointed the Knights before, has he? And after year number 16, Jack Eichel has had enough and he calls it quits as he finishes with 1,829 points in 1,597 games. What a career for Jack Eichel on Vegas was an absolute rock star. Let's go back to the beginning. His first year with Vegas picks up 80 points, followed by 75 points. 60 points in 69 games, 85 points in 77 games, 100 points. This is when he started his run of just continuous 100 points. 104, 105, 101, 118, 107, 113, 114, 113, 124. And he kind of ran in a little bit of injuries here. 62, 69, and then 44 finishes his year his career with the Anaheim Ducks, but what a career for Jack Eichel. I mean, finishing a career at plus, 100, or plus 287 is incredible. In the playoffs, 190 points in 146 games. I mean, Eichel was the man. If I just look at the notes here, one Stanley Cup, two Hart Trophies, two Ted Lindsay's, and one Lady Bing Trophy for Jack Eichel. What a career, what a career. That's going to do it for Jack Eichel's career simulation. If you want to see me do any other player, let me know down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the Jack Eichel trade. How do you think he's going to play in Vegas? And as always, have a great day and see you later.